Igen, ez sem kultúr, mint útrend. But you have to say in your defense, you're your Agnes. No, there's no defense. There's only a winning university. <laughs> Suddenly, the sun is setting once more. Time is rushing past me in this confinement. It's Sunday again and we exist another week. The truth is that right now I am experiencing some of the happiest and most loved times of my life. I think to some extent I have managed to come to peace with the restrictions and the situation of the world. I have the feeling to get better at not worrying too much if sailing with Ian will work out with the lockdown and if I can finally hitchhike across the Atlantic after more than one year of trying. Most of the time I manage to live in the now and to enjoy every little moment that my highly privileged and blessed life throws at me. I am healthy, I am loved, and after all, I am living my dream. There is nothing, literally nothing, I should be worried about. But still, in some moments, I have the feeling it comes to the surface out of my subconsciousness, a pressuring weight upon my being like a fine blanket of lead. And if I give in to this emotion, I feel that it has to do with being a lot less free right now. Then I think, oh yo yo, this is an expression of your ego, because this current unfreedom threatens your personal dream project and I try to ignore it, putting the blame on my selfishness. But after a while it comes back and again it takes away my inner peace. I realized already many years ago that to flourish here in this experience I seem to be in great need of freedom much more than other humans I can observe. I actually see many flourishing in safety, rules and within the simple answers of unfreedoms such as religions or ideology. While for me the freedom that I once experienced was not even free enough. I tried to meditate on this and I'm still trying to figure out if my experience in this moment is caused by my ego 
or if it's actually the very core of my soul that is silently tortured by this loss of freedom. I have the feeling that for humans like me, freedom is some kind of vitamin that is essential for the long-term well-being. Maybe I am not free because I'm so dependent on my freedom. Trapped in a self-created unfreedom while being in the pursuit of the illusion of freedom. Maybe we can only ever attain a real and pure freedom inside ourselves, with complete detachment of the external. I still don't know. I was longing for the great outdoors, bonfires and marshmallows. And then suddenly I had an idea. And there it was again, this feeling of pure freedom. And to experience this freedom in our currently unfree world made the experience even more profound. Another lesson of duality. Only by having the experience of unfreedom, we can have the experience of freedom. Aline! Aline! Tenemos dulces! <laughs> docinho, docinho! What's <laughs> this? No, two. Thank you so much for your precious time and enjoying this adventure with me. If you can't wait to see how this journey will continue, you can get instant early access to the next episode on my Patreon page. This project is only possible through your support on Patreon. So thank you from the bottom of my heart.